Hey guys, Mr. Burns here. Hope you're enjoying your Easter vacation. And I'm um, going to give you a little review of the Pythagorean Theorem. Hopefully uh, most of you guys remember this from Unit 1. But if you don't, here's a little review. Um, Pythagorean Theorem is especially important for this unit because we're going to be dealing a lot with uh, right triangles. So if you're looking for a more in-depth, go back to Unit 1. But I'm just going to take you through two possible examples that you might see. Um, so first thing we got to remember with Pythagorean Theorem is our formula. So let me break it a little pin here. So our formula is uh, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So this is my first time using my new my new fancy uh, pen tablet. So hopefully uh, you guys can pick out my writing. Um, <clears throat> I'm dealing with a little bit of a flu here over the Easter holidays. So hopefully uh, I won't sound too muffled. All right, so that's just, this is the formula. So you got your c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. But what's c and what's a? Well, if you remember that this, this is our right angle. Directly across from your right angle is something called your hypotenuse. I'll just call it my height. Okay? My hypotenuse right here. Um, that's the longest side of your right triangle. And that's always your c value. So your c. And then you got your other two sides. You call them your other two legs. Um, it doesn't matter which one you call A and which one you call B. I usually call this one down here A and this one up here B. It doesn't matter at all. At all. Okay. Um, in this case, we're trying to find this side length right here. Uh, call it C. And um, well, let's do it right now. So uh, equal to. So we got A. I call my A eight. Again, this wouldn't matter squared plus 5 squared and that's equal to so what we have to do is work this out so 8 squared is and of course this is c squared still and this is still c squared and we got 64 plus 5 and we do the math on this 64 plus 25, that's 89. Okay, so that's C squared. And what well, we're interested in C. Okay, so if we want to find C, what we have to do is take the square root of 89. So square root of 89. And that's approximately... I'm going to say 9.4, uh, maybe 9.3. I'm just guessing. So maybe I'll put my about symbol there. So um, this is a good example of a Pythagorean theorem question that we might have to deal with. Um, when we find the hypotenuse. Now, there is another type of problem that you might face with the Pythagorean theorem. And that is when we're trying to find something that isn't the hypotenuse. So in this situation we're trying to find the question mark and this would be one of our legs because right here we know this is our uh, hypotenuse right here we're directly across from our right angle the longest side we're trying to find the other leg. So this one's a little bit different than um, uh, the last one. The reason being is because we're not trying to find the hypotenuse so now we're not using the formula c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared we're going to use something different. Okay, but it's not really that different. It's just a rearrangement of what we had there. So what we're going to have now, so I'm going to say we're finding a squared. And that, of course, is equal to. Now, we're going to take our c squared. And we're going to subtract b squared. Okay, so we're subtracting now instead of adding. Anytime we're not finding the hypotenuse, which is the only other po two possibilities with finding this side right here, or this side of the right right triangle, we have to subtract. Okay, so we have our 13 squared minus 5 squared. So that's still a squared. And that's 169 minus 25. And now I have my, my 
a squared. So 169 minus 25. So we got uh, 144. Right there. And again, we get to the step. We have a squared is equal to 144. So what we want to do is we want to find what a is. We have to take the square root of 144. And we end up with a is equal to 12. All right, so there's our question mark. Our question mark is 12. Okay, so um, this is a two possible examples of Pythagorean theorem. We might deal with in unit 8. Of course, unit 8 is circle geometry. So uh, we're going to deal with many right triangles. So you guys got to be good at this stuff. So I hope this helps. All right, see you guys in class.